Eric Stewart with Lincoln Electric. Today we're going to navigate through the UI on the PipeFab machine. So I'm going to show you what all these buttons do and what the dials do and then we're going to get into some of the different screens that you're going to see and also how to make a selection. So let's get started. So if we look at the front of the machine we're going to see down here in the left this is where we make our process selection. Okay, Over here to the bottom right that's where we're going to set memories. We're going to get to that in another video. This is going to be our select and scroll knob. And then these two up here are going to adjust our parameters. All right. So first off, I want to show you how you select stick. So if you look here, this is how we'd select TIG. Here's how we select flux core. And here's how we select MIG. Okay, so right here, I want to go through and show you guys now that we have two different screens. So the current screen you're looking at now is called our simplified screen. So as you can see, everything travels horizontally in relationship to what you're going to select. Okay, I want to select the advanced screen and what that will do will align all of what our set points are horizontally, or I'm sorry, vertically. So if we go over here, we select more. System menu, advanced settings, we're going to change from simplified to advanced and then I'm just going to hit MIG again. So if you can see now everything is vertically lined. Alright so with that now I'm going to make a selection for Steve here to do a little welding for us and we're going to want to do just CV spray with 045, whether it be solid wire or carbon steel, 045 and 9010 gas. So first thing I'm going to do, select CV. As you know, as you can see, the indicator is going to move across. So I don't have to toggle over or navigate down this way. It automatically does it. So I've selected what is the process or the MIG type. Now I'm going to select what is the material type. And that is going to be carbon steel. The wire diameter is 045. And the gas type is going to be 9010. Okay, so with that, I'm going to now make his wire feed speed or set his wire feed speed so Steve is somewhere in a spray. And then we're going to have Steve weld for us. And I want you guys to note what you see on the screen and then we're going to make an adjustment while he's welding. So with that, Steve, go ahead and start off. Okay, so you can see in the screen right now, the indicator is telling us that we are on the left side of the power supply. It's displaying an amperage and a voltage. We're also showing true energy down at the bottom. So if I wanted to increase his wire feed speed while he's welding, I'd simply come over and change from 350 to 375. Now you can see how large the, letter, the numbers are. And also it moves down what is current and it displays what is the thing we're changing, which is wire feed speed. Also I'd like to note this is synergic. So we are also changing voltage while we change wire feed speed. So with that, if you would like more information on the PipeFab UI, go to LincolnElectric.com.